If anyone here is chronic, uh, chronically ill or knows someone who's chronically ill, often you uh, spend your time untethering yourself from the world because you're grieving your body. That suddenly reality feels so, so thin. And I was really feeling that at the time. My idea of what was rational did not match up with reality. One good thing about church is that it can also be quite psychedelic. There are limits to rationality, and religion teaches that sometimes we need to be awed by the world, both its beauty and terror. There's nothing, sorry, there's something we can reach towards together. God offers an answer, gives us something we're begging for. But even though it's so hard to imagine that it could all be right here, maybe it's just hard to settle for what's in front of us when we were promised everything. We are not in the earth, we are of it. We resist loss, but it is our condition. We are bound by it. It is not material to move on from loss. We don't return to what was before, but we become something else, for better or worse new capacities to live on. One way I honor Elizabeth is that she was a poet and a writer. So he glances at me from across the bar and takes a sip of his gin martini. <laughs> a choice of them. I train my eyes on his hair, his chest, his belt, a trail of beauty. He waves, I blush. A smell of tobacco, sandalwood. He rests his hand on, my, on the back of my neck, leans in to whisper something with his sweet lips. He asks, Is I a or bitch in their life? <laughs> Song for Baby O on Board by Diane de Primo. Sweetheart, when you break through, you'll find a poet here. Not quite what one would choose. I won't promise you'll never go hungry or that you won't be sad on this gutted, breaking globe. But I can show you, baby, enough love to break your heart forever. Let's pray. Dear God, you're a nasty kind. Amen. Amen. Oh my God. The crowd is so good. I know. Oh my God. Yes, they 